living outside of Eden. It's a whole different ball of wax. It's a whole different environment, you see. Once we were thrust out because of our rebellion of this perfect world, it's not too good. Things get a little bit dangerous. You have to be a risk taker. Now, outside of this environment, people could live and move to the floodplains. They could move to the Midwest and get wiped out by a tornado. They could move and put their house right on a fault line, you know. Hey, they could build their home on a fault line beneath a volcano, a live volcano if they chose. They were free to go anywhere outside of this Eden and build homes and live and reproduce children and live their lives. But it was dangerous, okay? It was high risk living. It was not safe. There were certain dangers connected to it. You know, do you like living dangerously? Let, let me ask you that question. Some people do, you know. Uh, but you see, outside, in, outside of Eden, that's your choice. You have to live dangerously. You know, I like, I love riding motorcycles and and, uh, you know, I realized, man, I could ride a motorcycle and I, I, a deer could run out in front of me and I could get killed. I could wrap my bike around a tree and I could get killed. Yeah, it could happen. But I'm willing to take the risk. You understand what I'm saying? I am willing to take that risk. And I'm not, hopefully I won't blame God if something bad happens. You know? Uh, if I blame God, maybe I should get rid of the risk there and quit doing the risk if I'm going to blame God for everything that happens to me. But you know, real men don't stick their thumb in their mouth and blame God, blame a being they don't believe in for all the woe and misery of the world. That's not what a real man does. A real man is willing to take the chance living in this dangerous world. He's willing to take the risk. It is dangerous. Get used to it. <clears throat> Get used to it. It's a dangerous, dangerous world in which we're living in right now. Outside of Eden. Oh, yeah. It's not the perfect little world that we had at the beginning. We left that world 6,000 years ago. 